So welcome students. So in this question, you are asked to find the area described by this definition. So area is equal to the point x comma y such that x square plus y square is less than or equal to 1 and y square is less than 1 minus x. You have two inequalities. So we know that an inequality represents a certain region. So first, if you go for x square plus y square less than or equal to 1, x square plus y square equal to 1 represents a circle. So this is x square plus y square is equal to 1. So x square plus y square less than or equal to 1 represents the region inside the circle. Because if you take any point on the circle, x square plus y square will be equal to 1. So if you go inside the circle, the values of x and y decrease. Hence, x square plus y square will be less than 1. So first region is represented by the region inside this circle. And the second region, y square less than 1 minus x. So if you draw the curve, y square is equal to 1 minus x, that is minus x plus 1. So obviously this is a left-handed parabola, y square is equal to minus x, but this has been shifted by 1 unit forward, right? y square is equal to minus x plus 1, that is when y is equal to 0, x is equal to 1. When y is equal to 0, x is equal to 1. So now, any point on this curve satisfies the relation y square is equal to minus x plus 1. Now I want y square is less than 1 minus x. That is, I need to take values, I need to take the points whose value of y is smaller than this. So you need to go downwards or in other way, you need to go inside this parabola. So this region represents the region inside this parabola. This region represents the region inside this circle. So what is the common region of these two? The common region is nothing but this region, right? The common region is this. So you are asked to find this region. And if you see the points where these two curves intersect, so this point is 1, 0. This is one of the vertex of this parabola. And this point where the curve meets y-axis, that is, if you take x is equal to 0. So if you take x is equal to 0, you get y square is equal to 1, that is, y is equal to plus or minus 1. That is, this point is 0, 1 and this point is 0, minus 1. And these are exactly the same points where the circle also meets y-axis. Now if you want this area, so the most easiest method is, you have this half circle, you have this half circle, that can be calculated separately and you have two of these areas. So if you take this as one standard area, you have symmetrically two times this area. So I'll find one of this area and multiply it with two and I'll take half of the circle extra. If I add these three, so you get the area of the region. So first, what is the area of half of the circle? The radius is one. So the total area is pi times r square one square. So area of the semicircle area of semicircle is equal to pi by 2, right? This is pi by 2. Now let us take this area. This area is nothing but the area between x x and this curve, between 0 and 1. So that is nothing but integration from 0 to 1, integration from 0 to 1, this curve, that is root of 1 minus x dx, root of 1 minus x dx. So that is equal to integration from 0 to 1. What is root of 1 minus x dx? So what is the integration of root of 1 minus x dx? 1 minus x whole power 3 by 2 by 3 by 2, right? Into, you have a minus extra, so minus from 0 to 1. So that is equal to 2 by 3 times. If you take 1, you get 0. If you take 0, you get 1 power 3 by 2, so 0 minus 1. That is equal to 2 by 3 times 0 minus of 0. So you have a minus extra. So minus 2 by 3 times 0 minus 1. So it's plus 2 by 3. So this checked area is 2 by 3 units. So what is the total required area? So area is equal to pi by 2 plus 2 times 2 by 3. That is 4 by 3. So answer is pi by 2 plus 4 by 3. Thank you.